first meeting I had, I was told to change my nose. Second meeting I had, I was uh, told to get a boob job. कभी बेईमानी मत करना. जो भी है ना मतलब ईमानदारी से करोगे ना रास्ता अपने आप मिलेगा. Hi guys, I'm Vikrant Masi. And I'm Radhika Apte. And you're watching us on Spill the Tea with my favorite Sneha. So don't forget to hit the bell icon. Ting tong. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to hit the bell icon and don't forget to like share and subscribe to film companion detective vikrant and <laughs> officer radhika welcome to spill the tea hi so good to be hi. back so good to be back we have a mystery to solve okay. we're taking promotions to like a whole fun level on <laughs> spill the tea yeah. by bringing you to a mystery room yeah have you ever been to one of these no my nieces no. have and in exactly the same place they come oh. here every week wow every week Are you good at it then? I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, this is my first time here, but I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, okay. same. So, so basically, uh, we are gonna actually get down to trying and solving a mystery by the end of the show. So, you guys want to stick around for the end of the video to yeah. watch us. actually do this okay. but until then i'm going to take you in there into this scene we've been told that there are a bunch of clues yeah. uh, you guys are uh, in the zone of being yeah. detective and yeah. officer so i'm going to really exploit that and yeah. see how good the training for forensic <laughs> on z5 was <laughs> so let's go inside let's, yeah, let's get do started it. yeah okay. after you after you come on Gone into character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. Do you guys get scared mm. easily? No, I get startled very easily though. Mm, I do get scared, but depends. पहले नहीं बताया यार. No, I get scared sometimes and sometimes <laughs> I don't. Set me prank तो. No, not like that. अच्छा वैसे भी. No, I'm scared of ghosts. Hmm. Mm. Who knows what the next half hour is going to have in store for you. Pata chal pata chala sabse pehle mera hi wicket gira. But okay since we are in a mystery room and I have like the next 15 20 minutes to chat with you guys I'm going to ask you what is it about Bollywood that still remains a mystery to you? What really baffles you about the industry? It baffles me how people make sometimes really bad stuff and when people say ha oh, great yeah they really believe it. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. Do they really believe it or do I? I don't know. They do, yeah. They do. <laughs> they I mean, some people do. Baffles, baffles me. Hey, yeah. you really liked it? Like, yeah, I did. Like, really? No, so good. No, it is. And yeah. they buy it. Yeah. Wow. Or they're just playing along because. Huh. No, people don't think they make bad things. <laughs> 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 they think they make good things. Yeah. No? They, yeah. I I I know a few. I know a few. <laughs> You're lucky if you know a few. I know a few. <laughs> Only a few. <laughs> okay, so since this is an escape room, yeah. if you could escape from a particular occupational hazard, mm -hmm. hmm. what what would it be for you? Uh, I I don't like the hierarchical system. Hmm. Unfortunately, there are some sets, and I I uh, I don't mean to generalize, but there are some sets where there is that hierarchical system, wherein, uh, for example, there will be. Uh, two different places where the same food will be served uh, because A and B catering, A, A, A catering, yeah. B catering, or B catering. Your drivers or technicians or all the light guys go. Or A, your so-called elitists go. Who probably don't eat in that place. Who probably don't eat in that place. But there is a hierarchical system hai, which is kind of unpleasant. I really don't appreciate this. So good food should be. And it's the same food. Mm -hmm. You are eating the same food, but two different places. Absolutely. It's actually very deep rooted and ridiculous but I think that's a longer conversation which which might take a little long. Mm. What about you? I'm thinking hazard I don't know but um can we like say what I would like to change? Yeah. Like like how yeah, you want to yeah, change yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. I think I'd like to change the I I'd like to give actors more um not respect but value uh in the industry. in the sense that you know you want a best cinematographer you want the best sound designer but you don't want a best actor you want a star always uh you know uh, uh for uh, it doesn't matter like uh, whether the, the 
it's not about like for example if a cinematographer wants to better his better his whatever game yeah. he mm. has to learn more actors want to better his their game they have to do more exercise dress better get clicked more uh, and do whatever thingies on the faces they don't go for courses and coaching for performance you know because that's not valued they mm. go like that's a star kid or this is a uh, been promoted by somebody cars them acting to karwa lenge so i think the value of acting actors and then they say actors are dumb actors are the least simplest thing to do stuff like that and i find it very annoying because mm. the actual craft is not like you know what i mean yep yep not respected at all that was really one of the questions that i was coming to because ek to when you say vikrant and Ra- radhika by default you now say are good actor are vikrant radhika good actors wo to hai hi what becomes like the challenge for you guys now you everyone knows you are like good actors in the true sense of the word thanks uh the challenge is to sort of stay consistent i think we spoke about mm-hmm. this the last time uh, for me at least the idea is like by the grace of god at least today uh, uh today there are a few more people who sort of believe in the fact that i can i can act i can do yaar this now i've interviewed him way too long no. and now no. <laughs> i'm like up to bol do no but comparatively yeah there there is a that there, there is a larger support base than than what it was say 4 years ago when when we did our first interaction together but and that is the challenge the the idea is to be worth their time and their money is uh given the fact that okay ek ek sense of assumption hai ki you know acha actor hai to i don't want to let them down you know wo ek ek cheez hai because i still have a lot a lot to do so to to probably be worth their time and you know their expectations to probably fulfill that is 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 priority and that is the only thing that stains and that sort of adds a little bit of more pressure hmm. but i i have always said that i think i i perform better under pressure yeah. i want to have the freedom to fail because then i'll take more risks and try different things so that i can be shit sometimes and that's okay because i'm just trying different things so that pressure makes you take lesser risks which right. is why i get stressed when somebody says that oh your category is a good actor i'm like yeah, but i am shit in some places and that's okay because i want to try and i might go really wrong yeah uh, you know what i mean but it's okay if it goes wrong i'm like i want very little try. margin for error yeah so i want to try and i know sometimes i've done really like oh. rubbish <laughs> of course yeah like you're so not interested you're just like coming in what do you want me to cry okay <laughs> See, I'm jet lagged. That's me. That means I'm honest, even wow. more honest, which is <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> and 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 my research has shown me that you guys have very very consistently stayed away from the from succumbing to the stereotype of what is considered sexy in Bollywood, whether it's your bulked up body body or the thingies that you just mentioned that people do to their faces. what really like what, is there never the pressure to fit in or how do you deal with it um, either way i had that pressure before uh when i was new i was told to do lots of jobs right yeah. on my body and face and up front like oh yeah 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 first meeting i had i was told to change my nose second meeting i had i was t- uh, told to get a boob job then then that continued then i was told to do something to my uh legs then something to my jaw then something to refill somewhere here no, then I, botox no no are you joking like it took me 30 years to color my hair <laughs> <laughs> i'm not going to get even an injection like you know so all of that but uh, it just put me off rather than sort of i i never felt pressurized i felt in in fact i felt angrier and it, in fact i all of that helped me actually love my body even more because i was like I love my body. A friend of mine got a, got a got botox and once like she said I just tried it once and she said I want to tell you because I know you're going to freak out. And I was like why did you do it blah blah blah. So she said that I will never do it again but I just want to know what is your problem? Hmm. Like what is your actual problem? I don't want to hate aging. That's against nature. I I don't want to be immortal. I want to die. I want to age. You know what I mean? Has Radhika in a mystery room? Mystery room. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, careful but, what you wish, my friend. <laughs> but man, I'm I'm just a bit sick and tired of people constantly doing that, and which is why it doesn't affect. I mean, it affects me, but it doesn't affect me in the way that I would like to do it ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what is the upside of 
like let's just spin this around and there has to be like a positive spin to not being one of the mold so since you guys have really like right. made it in as good actors because really that's what i'm here mm. to interview you for what is the upside of not being part of the mold the upside is mm. you know uh, your your support base is there with you uh, at least, uh, like in my in my case there, there are a lot of people who who've been with me through thick and thin and i'm talking about people i don't know of or i haven't even met but they they've been motivating me supporting me for years hmm. uh, also because of social media today so the world is far much smaller and yeah i know that yeah. and you you being one of the first ones you know and uh, they, they they are there they your genuine well wishers the hmm. true well wishers you know they and it you can feel it wo pata chal jata hai jab wo dil se nikalti dua na wo wo aapko mehsoos ho jati hai uh and, and there are beautiful things they say you know what uh, they, they say things like uh, it's okay you know uh, uh, time lagega lekin har achhi cheez ko time lagta hai so they they are with you through your bad days through your good days but but there is genuine support, support. there is absolute genuine robust support uh, the numbers might not be that great uh, mm. might not be in a few millions but whatever it is and that's 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 a very very strong and you value that absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. do you do you feel the support no i just feel the upside is i'm happier like you know i mean that's the upside for me because yeah that, that that's the core actually so yeah, sleep yeah. well at night yeah absolutely I, yeah absolutely. i i i like myself better i'm happier and you know i i feel good to have some some thing some values that i really believe you know they might change by the way over time not this i'm not going to ever have an injection or different nose that you'll see but <laughs> but i'm just saying i'm happy yeah yeah that's that's the yeah. crux of the all crux of, yeah, of right? it yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 tell me about a, a piece of advice that someone from bollywood has given you to crack the code of navigating this place good or bad um actually this i uh, this one somebody once told me in the beginning few years when i was like passion actor and i was like yeah mujhe acting karni hai and all of that <laughs> so they said to me just remember this is a business yeah it is nobody's here for art it's a business and it, it was such a great advice yeah Isn't because this like break your heart no 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 it's like the purest nay no Nain, because i think that's very essential also no because it makes it very easy to take rejection because then you realize rejection is not personal at all it's yeah. a it's a business strategy you so don't fit into it for whatever reason not ganda come on if you had money hmm. where would you put it and if you wanted to put it you want returns right so it's not like oh the producer has to change the society works in a certain way they want to watch a certain things everything has to change that takes time that takes everybody to stand up and say no to something which is very difficult <laughs> Uh, uh uh one piece of advice that i i apply every day and and i hope i continue to do so uh is be just be true to yourself you know uh this was this was you know shared uh, with me by uh, one of my favorite people vidhu vinod chopra he said this to me and uh, I love him. I really look up to him for so many things, and not just work. In general life, mm. in general life, I have imbibed so many things. I want to be a lot like him. Mm. Uh, he told me that, "Beta, one thing is that just be true to yourself. Pata hai. Kabi baimani mat karna. Jo bhi hai na, matlab imandari se karoge na, rasta apne aap milega." And that is true. Uh, you know, I never thought I'll be here standing with Radhika Apte or oh. you know working with her, and even the I likes mean, of people I've worked with. I, honestly, from yeah, where yeah, I come, yeah. I, I come from Doordarshan Television. I never even thought that. That was a yeah. thought which I actually left my house with, and on like halfway through that journey, I met this man called Vidhu Vinod Chopra, who tells me exactly the same thing that my father told me. So it's kind of reinstating, you know, it's kind of reinstating that you know what, this is this is the actual truth. and yeah i think that's that's one thing that that i still on a day to day basis i try there, there are lows of course you know there are lows you you get lows you you're human by the end yeah. of it but then uh, as i said it's very momentary you snap out of it equally quickly and then you sit back and analyze okay not bad god's been kind yeah 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 we are here to talk about uh, forensic yes. which is a crime thriller what about this space really um, excites you guys you've done a bit of it in the past with andadhun and haseen dilruba yeah. what makes it exciting for you guys um 
I like Who Done It. Mm -hmm. I love Who Done It. I'll watch any Who Done It. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, so the genre. I really like the love the genre. And actually, for this film, I hadn't even. I saw the. Malayalam film, but before yeah, I saw, I never under get it when actors say no, no, no. I have to not seen, seen the original. Is, is, is it true usually? I mean, I I think it's both. Uh, I saw it because I didn't have the script by that time. Ah. And, but I mean, I'm not of an opinion that you should watch it or shouldn't watch it. Do what you want. Yeah, at that point, to be honest with you, I mean, you know, you see it. But it has both has its own advantages. Your life will. Be whatever it is, the whatever choice you make, it's not like oh my god, I should watch it or shouldn't watch it. It's nothing like that. Yeah. You watch it if you feel like I watched it because there was no script. They were still writing it, and I had said all yes already because he was attached to it. I really wanted to work with him. Oh. Uh, so I said yes, but I was like okay, better watch it also. I <laughs> barely like know anything about it. So I watched it. I don't remember much of it, um, which is good. And uh, Is that the answer to your question? Yeah. 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 What what excites you about the space? Uh, as an audience, I I would love and watch Who Done It or you know it's it's one genre where it kind of entertains you but also keeps you mentally stimulated. Mm. Uh, you know, and of course, if it's a collective viewing like in cinemas, yeah. I think those eight hundred people in the hall are actually gasping together. Gasping <laughs> together, they are you know. Uh, They they're in it together. Yeah, and yeah. that's that is a commun that is a wholesome community viewing experience. <laughs> yeah, especially this genre. Yeah, or a horror probably. You know, yeah, you are reacting at the same time. Or if if uh, like like Death in the Gunge is not the right example, mm. but the climax of it mm. Mm. Uh, when Shuntu does what he does, there were eight hundred people in the hall who actually responded at the same time, and and that's what you work hard for. Yeah, yeah. and that's what it's worth it. So especially this genre. Uh, Uh, it keeps me mentally uh, stimulated, and I I like it. Mm-hmm. After you finish, so I want to tell you something. Bolo bolo. You know once, uh, sorry, can I say this once? Uh, Bhoot had come out. Huh. Ajay Devgan Bhoot, right? Uh, Manoj Urmila. Urmila. Yeah. Urmila. Yeah. Urmila. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
difficult Very to difficult. Uh, misguide you in a way that makes perfect sense. Yeah. So the character is not lying just because it needs to lie at that point. It's convenient because otherwise, how will you get a cliffhanger? Hmm. You know what I mean? You need to. They, the story needs to really, really come together, and that very few, very few things do. Yeah. Very three few. out of ten, maybe three out of ten. Very few. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So we're going to try and um, solve see how good we are at uh, uh, solving this mystery. Uh, I think the lights are going to go off. Okay. Woo! We don't know anything, but this is a one-hour-long experience which we are going to now cut down for. Um, huh. Purposes of like busy whatever. actor purposes. <laughs> <laughs> so so let's cut straight into let's the adventure. It's that. going to be darkness, guys. But I think that this is something that you're going to enjoy. Yeah, I am really looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> very well. Hello, hello, detective. Hello, 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 hello. hello sir. Uh, so we've been told that we need to find a dead body. Okay. You are the experts. Yeah, we have some bhalu ka footprints here. Okay. Is this a mark? blood stain? Oh. So this whoever's the footprints are have come from from inside the fishing pond. See the fish the footprints go to the door. door which and is we have to get out of the door. Don't smoke. Don't threaten. So, wow, rags! <laughs> Not hey, let it open now, Kaile. First let it open. Oh, oh my god, she's right! <laughs> wow. No wonder you wanted to work with her. Yeah, she's not <laughs> smart. Key to the door or what? <laughs> fishing, fishing! Ah. Fishing. Okay. Twelve. But I don't know what that means. One second. Mean this we have to solve. Yeah. This Eight. is like pseudo type again. What colors are those? An Whoa. Whoa. This is hard go, huh? Under. Detonated in the sky. This. So, ah, yeah, you are right. It's actually was, these colors. This is green. Okay. This is green. Hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> wow. camera <laughs> they wanted to solve this you like are like yeah. hardcore fans so of this fun. Yeah, so, so fun. I love this we should have one, day, it. one day you've got to promise us to take us through the whole thing Pura. this is why we do spill the tea we move outside <laughs> of banquet halls and just get to know the you and you guys are a lot of fun so, <laughs> thank you Sarah. so thank you guys for thank chatting you. with me all the best for the film